Is it that time already? The back to school countdown has begun. Today, local organizations and businesses teamed up to scratch some items off of those school supply lists. They handed out supplies that for some parents at a public housing community in the West Side may be difficult to provide. Alicia Barrera gives us a look as more than 250 people lined up for that extra help. Good afternoon. Well, the event wraps up in just a few minutes and the line is out the door and around the corner of this building. But the good news is that everyone standing in line, well, they will get the supplies that they need today. And this event, it's for the children living at Cassiano Homes, a community with households that bring in a median income of about $12,000. And that's according to the San Antonio Housing Authority. Not only will the kids go back with new supplies today and a backpack to put them in, they'll actually be able to choose that backpack but they now have new socks, shoes, shirts, and shirts according to the dress code of their schools. Some even taking advantage of the free immunizations from university health systems today. And this is all to help build a habit of good attendance so they can finish school and also go on to college and have a career. But just so you get an idea of if your child is late or just misses at least 10 minutes of school each day, that equals to 50 minutes a week which equals to one and a half weeks per year. So a lot of time lost. So again, this is to build good habits. And we met Zoe Valdez, a mom who says this is a huge help for her and her four kids. Her grades are pre-K three to first grade. And today is a blessing for her. I actually just got the notification yesterday morning that they were having this event. And I'm waiting to start school August 26th. And I was waiting for my phospho to come in so I could buy them their clothes before I got anything that I needed for school. So this actually really helps me. And the only thing left on Zoe's back to school list for her kids are the pants. So she's not too worried about that now. And the next biggest back to school fair is happening on August 3rd. That's happening 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Freeman Coliseum. You can head over to KSAT.com for all the details on that fair. On the west side, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.